I came out here this morning to make a video showing an operation on using one of my chisels, the one inch one, but looking at it, I can see that not only is it dull, it also has a little bit of a chip taken out of the corner. I guess it fell on the floor at some point, or I used it for some other thing that I shouldn't have. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna tune it up, get rid of that little chip that's in there, and show you how I make it absolutely razor sharp. Now, as you can see, I've already got the chisel put in one of my sharpening jigs. This is one I designed and built about two years ago. And if you're interested in building this, plans are available on my website. Now, originally I used this sharpening jig with a special setup, but I've since changed that to make it a little bit more convenient to use. What I've got here is the box with my sharpening stone, and I'm gonna put that in my quick release vise. But first I'm gonna put in a piece of wood that's an inch and a half thick. And what that does is it lifts the stone up so that it's flush with the surface of my workbench. Because the edge of this chisel is damaged slightly, I'm gonna start with sandpaper actually, which will cut a little bit more aggressively even than the coarse stone that I have here. And then when I think that I have it close to where it needs to be, I'll switch to the coarse stone and grind it down the rest of the way. Okay, so I kind of underestimated how long this would take even with this coarser sandpaper, so I'm gonna to have to try something a little bit more aggressive. This is another jig that I came up with a few years ago. And if you want more details on this, there's a link in the description as well. And what this will do is it'll bring that primary bevel back and grind the whole thing flat. The only thing I have to watch out for is not to be too aggressive and let the steel overheat. It took a while to get it ground down to where I have most of the chip taken away. It would take a lot more to get rid of it 100%, but I think I can get the rest on a secondary bevel. The chisel is now at the right angle, but that face is still a little bit rough looking. It's probably not gonna affect the cut, but I wanna clean it up a little bit further. So I have the rough side of the stone exposed here, and I'm gonna stroke it back and forth until I'm happy with how that looks. An advantage to this jig and this arrangement is that you get to use the entire surface of the stone and therefore you're not wearing out one specific area. And also the jig itself is not riding on the stone like those cheap guides you can get. Then I can flip the stone over to the fine side and without changing the angle on the jig, I'll smooth it out a little bit more. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now what I wanna do is get that secondary bevel I talked about earlier. And to do that, I'm gonna pull the chisel back slightly in the jig, and that changes the angle where it contacts the stone. It doesn't take very long at all to get that secondary bevel set up. And on the back side of the chisel, I can feel a burr. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the jig and I'm gonna flip the chisel over and work on the back until that burr is gone. Now I can leave it like this and it's very sharp. It's like as sharp as you need it to be, but I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna strop it and what I'm gonna strop it on is actually the piece of wood that I used to lift up the sharpening stone. I'm gonna clamp that in there with this edge up, and then I'm gonna rub on some of this green honing compound and stroke the chisel backwards on that, both on the top and on the bottom. And I'm gonna be doing this freehand because this really doesn't cut aggressively. Okay, the moment of truth. I've got a piece of, uh, this is a piece of pine. I'm gonna clamp in my vise right here. And I'm gonna cut the end grain with the chisel. That's a really good way to check to see how well your chisel is cutting. If it shears through end grain on softwood, it's usually sharp enough.
seems to be cutting the end grain quite efficiently. Certainly not something that I would complain about anyway. While I had everything set up, I decided to tune up a half inch chisel as well, except this one didn't fall on the floor and there were no chips in the edge. Anyway, if you're interested in any of the things you've seen in this video, the links to them are in the description. Sharpening doesn't have to be complicated and it certainly doesn't have to be expensive, especially if you're willing to make some of the things that you'll need yourself. <laughs>